Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here and welcome to the live stream over on Twitch. If you're watching from YouTube then welcome to the replay. So we have a quick update here on the Bitcoin price uh, because we are still consolidating in this little wedge within this uh, bigger wedge that we are in right now and I'm expecting here pretty soon a breakout to the upside here most likely towards $6,800 in case that we're gonna lose here the supports here at $6,400 I'm expecting another drop here towards $5,900 so be prepared here in case that you want to trade that uh, over on a Bybit for now I have closed my position because I want to see uh, here a breakout to the upside or to the downside to trade that with a short or with a long but I think most likely we're gonna have to trade here with a long because it looks like that the 20 moving average in one hour uh, is gonna hold a support even though we tested it now many times but also here the resistance here at around 6500 we have tested now a couple of times so we have to see where we're gonna break out but also here in the one hour you can see that the RSI is keeping up very well with the 50 level stochastic is shifted to the upside I'm expecting here pretty soon a breakout to the upside of course it can also go down so be sure that uh, your trade is well placed here in case that you're waiting for a breakout like me also always use a stop loss if you go over to the Bollinger Band you can see here in the one hour that the MACD is trading sideways and also here in the Bollinger Band we are squeezing into this uh, channel so we pretty soon gonna have here a breakout to the upside or downside we are very close uh, to both here the bottom area and also the top if we go over to the 4 hour, here very similar, we are trading perfectly along the 50 level in the RSI. Stochastic here is overbought, that is what is concerning me a little bit. And uh, you can see that the 20 moving average in the 4 hour is perfectly lining up with our support here. So maybe if we are lucky we can go and test it again and take this long from here at around 6350. But I think if we're gonna have here a breakout to the upside we will maybe not even go down again to test it again. So in case that we have a test of this support make sure to watch if we're gonna go below then probably it's better to open a short position. But if we drop here and we really have this support here between 6340 to around 6400 that is my target for my long position. If there you see the price is gonna hold this support then I think it's good to go long because then most likely we're gonna bounce back up and also break it to the upside with the next attempt. But of course we still have to wait, but I think we're coming to an end here of this sideways uh, moving uh, price level here around 6,400 to 6,500 pretty soon. So make sure that if you want to trade it over on Bybit, you are ready for that. It's happening pretty soon in my opinion, guys. So make sure to trade that correctly. And if we go over to the Bollinger Band here in the 4 hour time frame, also here you can see that the MACD is still shifted to the upside. We are trading on the bullish side here. So we are having this support here at around 6400, this yellow line here. I think of course if we are gonna break here to the downside here the 6300 should hold it. If not then we are shifted here towards 5900 which also here you can see is the bottom area of the Bollinger Band. So let's see if we can push through here. Um, uh, towards 6800 or not because if we would do so then we would also overshoot it here on the Bollinger Band in the 4 hour uh, but if we would break to the downside we would just go to the bottom area here so make sure to be on the right side guys here the next move could be a move of around $500 so I think you can make some nice gains here if you trade it the right uh, let's say with 10x leverage uh, maximum uh, yeah, and we can also have a quick look on the daily time frame because um, today we have to see where we're gonna close here because we're very close to the 20 daily moving average in case of a breakout to the upside and if we can close here above 6530. So if we really go to our target here at around 6800 and we also maybe break to the upside here or start consolidating or building up a support above 6530 then I think we could be good to go to the upside in the next couple of days also because then we are trading above the 20 daily and possibly also we could start to trade above the 15 the RSI would be very very bullish guys and um, also the markets uh, they all closed in green today um, uh, only the S&P is still a bit on red but uh, let's give it a bit of more time here maybe we can bring it to 
uh, green as well but uh, it's not that bad I mean minus one percent is not too bad so we have to see and also you see in the crypto space we have ethereum it's also like Bitcoin performing XRP a little bit better we have plus three percent BSV also plus one point four percent it doesn't look too bad here let's see and hope that we can close above the 20 daily moving average here guys all right, uh, this was just a small update, guys, from the live stream. Uh, make sure also to join our YouTube channel, Alessandro the Crypto, our live stream channel on over on Twitch, and of course, uh, please join the trading chat on Discord. It's completely for free, and everyone is welcome, guys. Here we are discussing all our entries, exits, ideas, and everything. It's completely for free. Just go and click here, join the channel in the YouTube video down below here in the video description, and of course, you find all some other useful links if you need a Bybit or Femex trading account with my links here you can get uh, some sign up bonuses on Bybit $90 for free and on Femex $72 completely for free so go ahead and take this free money as long as they're doing this promotion so thank you very much for watching guys and we will see us all in the next one hopefully on the live stream again bye for now guys bye